Hey y'all, Sai here! Remember a couple weeks ago when I was working on that crayon zebra? Well, in the middle of that, right before I ran it through the planer, there was a break in time, and during that time I decided to make another zebra. And so I thought I would try to do a zebra project just wood burning it. So I had one zebra project ready to be routered on a board, and I decided to use that for the Woodburn project instead. So here is where that video starts. I had this project taped up on this piece of board, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some uh, carbon paper down and I'm gonna trace it. No, my favorite thing, tracing, eh. But I'm gonna trace it and then I'm gonna wood burn it. <gasps> I think it'll look cool. So hopefully I can take this off, which is coming off nicely. Yeah, okay, sweet. Now I'll just put some carbon paper on the back of it. Since this is sticky, I'm just going to put this carbon paper on it just like that. And I'll be sure that it's covered, like so. And I have to figure out how it went on there just exactly right. And then someone suggested I use a colored pencil. Let's see if I have one. I have a red and blue pencil. So let's just do it. Using the colored pencil really showed me where I was on my tracing. So thank you to the person who recommended that. I really don't like tracing, and I think it's because I like to do things really fast, and with tracing you just can't go too fast. But with the magic of video editing, I can make it go really fast. I suppose I should check and see if it's transferring too. Ooh, it is nicely. Yay! Okay. Oh, I missed some. I missed a lot. So I went back and traced those spots that I had missed. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited to get wood burning now. Ah, I'm excited! My tip got red hot. I don't think it's supposed to do that. I mean, I don't think I'm supposed to let it get that hot, but let's see. Okay. I need a piece of wood to burn off the heat bed. Here's a nice piece of juniper to burn up the table. All right. Burn some, ooh, burn some of that off. Now, I think I'll just outline everything first. And then... This is my wire wood burner. I went over all of the pencil lines using two different wire tips. And I don't know the names of the tips, and I know they have names, but I could find out if anyone really wants to know. I filled in some areas on the ear and the eye where I know it was going to be really dark. And I continued burning over the lights. I also use my regular wood burner to add in light and dark areas and shading and stuff like that. Then I started filling in the areas that I know are going to be black, like the stripes.
mixed up some epoxy and I'm using Butterboat epoxy and I poured it over everything and just spreading it with my hands. And the extra I poured into my silicone tooth molds that I have. And I used the heat gun to pop all the surface bubbles. I am super excited to look at this today! Yeah! I had it covered. sand off these like I did on the other one. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put something on the back. I sanded off all of the drips of epoxy. I picked a verse and it's in Genesis 30. It tells a little bit of the story where Jacob cuts these branches and things and lays them before the animals and then the animals are born with stripes or speckled or spots and Maybe that's when the zebra started. So what I'm gonna put on the back here is just a little bit of the end of 39, which says, then the young that were born were streaked, speckled, or spotted. Ah, I forgot to check out the teeth. They look pretty cool to me. And remember that pink epoxy I poured over my crayon zebra? Well, I had poured the leftover pink into these tooth molds also. And I think the pink looks super cool. Then I added a hanger to the back using two screws and some picture hanging wire. Here's the zebra. I think it looks cool. Cool. And I love the way the epoxy feels. So slickery. And I might need to add a little bit more here and here, but I don't think I will. But I could. And in the back, I haven't put anything on this. I don't think I need to do that either. So this epoxy is called Better Boat Epoxy. And I tried it clear for, the, for what I had left over. I poured it into the teeth molds and the pink one I did last time and I think the pink definitely looks better than the clear for these teeth. <laughs> but anywho, yay! Yay, this one's a much better than the other zebra. So thanks for joining me everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye!